Hey there, it's Luke from Rhino for Kitbash 3D. So today we're gonna look at how to relink your textures inside of Cinema 4D. So before we do any sort of relinking, I would highly recommend you create a centralized location for your Kitbash sets. As you can see here, I have all of these different Kitbash sets and they're all put in their own folder. As you can see, when I open up one of these folders, you can see the project file that I got from Kitbash 3D, as well as the text folder. This is very important because Cinema 4D likes to look inside of the save area of your project file when looking for textures or anything that is linking to it. Hopping in over to Cinema 4D, this is something that you should probably be seeing, which is all of your buildings completely black. And that's because all your textures are unlinked and you can see here all your materials have this really strange shader on them. So assuming you have your project file and text folders saved together, all you have to do is go here to Window, go here to Project Asset Inspector, and here you'll see all of your textures. You can see that they're all missing, but as you can see when you click on it, it still has a preview. And this is really important because it shows that Cinema 4D knows how it looks and it knows what to expect, but the asset is not in the project path. So what you want to do is go ahead and select all of your textures, go here to asset. Instead of doing relink assets, all you have to do is hit globalize file name. So as you can see, all of my textures are relinked and everything is looking really nice inside of the viewport. What's really important about globalizing your file names is that if you were to import this project file by hitting file and merge objects in a new project, it would bring this directory path with it into the new project file and you won't have to relink your texture again. So as long as you don't move this texture folder, all future projects will relink automatically and it will save you a lot of time. So as long as you don't move the texture folder, you should be good to go for any future project. And that's it. I've been Luis Miranda and happy kid bashing.